Hello everyone. Suppose you are running an organization or online business and want to manage member details, track participation in events or activities and communicate with them for certain important updates. Then creating a membership database is the best option for you. Moreover, a membership database helps you to track the growth of retention members or check the customer history or service detail for a certain business. So this is Jihad Riyanjim from Excel Demi and today we'll learn several steps on how to create a membership database in Excel. Before going into the steps, let's talk about the membership database we want to create here. Here, we want to create a database where we'll include the membership ID, their name, cell number, and their living zone in column B, C, D, and E. We'll create a similar database like the database we are showing on the screen. For this whole tutorial, we'll use Microsoft Excel 365 for better understanding. So without any further discussion, let's get started. To create a membership database, the first step is to set the headings. To do that, we'll select the B4 to E4 cells, go for the Home tab. In the Font section, you'll find the Border option. Select All Borders and now you have created the Border section. Now you need to create the heading names, which is go for the B4 cell and insert the ID again, go for the next name and now we'll go for the cell nong and at last we'll go for the last section which is in this case zone in the E4 cell. We'll select B4 to E4 cell, go for the home tab and in the alignment section we'll go for the middle alignment to show it attractively. We can also go for the home tab and select the font size in the font section and resize them according to our wish. We can also make them bold by selecting the bold in the same section. Also, you can do the same by using Ctrl plus B in the keyboard. Now, if we want to color them, font section of the home tab, go for the fill color and select the color according to your wish. Now, you have created the proper headings according to your wish. The next step is to enter the first record here. To do that, we'll select the B5 cell to E5 cell, go for the Home tab and in the Phone section, again go for the Borders and select All Borders to create the section. Now, we'll insert the proper ID here. First step is to go for the first ID which is M23. Next, go for the SAM and now we'll go for the cell number here. The cell number here is 345. Six, seven. After that, we'll go for the zone, which is in this case, north. Now, we'll select the cells and go for the home tab. And here in the alignment section, we can easily change the alignment according to our wish. So that's the first record entry for us. But suppose you have a certain cell where you want to change the format. Suppose in this case, we have the D5 cell, the cell long, where we want to create a new format cells. To do that, at first we'll select the D5 cell, go for the home tab and in the cell section, we'll get the format option. Here, we'll select the format cells to open the format cell dialog box. You can do the same by going for the cell D5 and right click on the mouse. After that, here in the format cells, you'll go for the custom option and now we'll select the custom section according to our wish where we want to get the sample here. If we click the OK, then we'll get the proper cell long with proper formatting here. To create a table with the help of this database, at first we'll select any cell. After that, we'll press Ctrl plus T in the keyboard to have the create table dialog box here you will check if the selection is correctly done or not then tick on my table has headers and click ok to get the perfect table here you can easily change the table header section and 
choose a sample according to your wish. After that, we'll modify the quick access toolbar. And to do so, we need to show the whole window here. So we'll adjust the Excel window and show you the whole toolbar here. Now you have got the full access toolbar window where we need to get the quick access form. And to do that, at first we'll go for the ribbon section, right click on it and here you'll get the customize the ribbon section. If you click on it, then you'll get the Excel options here. In the Excel options section, you'll go for the quick access toolbar where you'll select the all comment section. And now you'll go for the form section which we want to include in our window. So we'll go and search for the form section. Here we have got the form. We'll click on it and then at the right side, we'll get the add option. Click the add. And now you will see that you have got the OK option. If you click OK, then in the quick access section, you have got the form here. To enter a new record by using this new quick access form section. At first, we'll select the B5 cell and now go for the ribbon and select the quick access form section to open the create dataset dialog box. Here in the create database, you will get the first record informations. But as we are trying to get the new record, so we'll select the new in the create database. After that, we'll insert the proper ID for the new entry. After fulfilling the create database for the new record, you'll press new in this section to get the new data record on the worksheet. You can easily close them by going for the close section or select the close here. Now we want to select the P6 to E6 cell and go for the home tab and in the font section go for the all borders in the border section or and you can easily modify them by going for the alignment in the home tab and you can select the alignment according to your wish. After inserting every record, then the membership database will look like this. So that's how you can easily create a membership database in Excel. So that's it for today. You can follow these steps accordingly or you can download the practice workbook from the link below. Hope this will help you. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, please let us know in the comment section. Or you can have a glance at excelme.com. Thanks for watching us. If you like this video, please consider subscribing for more content like this.